So guys, how on earth would have this witness destroyed Tinubu's chances at the election tribunal? You know, he was brought to come and testify. He came as a witness for Tinubu. But you know, he ended up complicating issues for him. He ended up complicating issues for him. Remember, he came with so much confidence that he is a legislator, he is a lawyer, he has read here, he has read there, and you know, it's as if they were like parading him that they have a very strong witness. We all know that during the time of the Labour Party, they brought very strong witnesses, like the cyber security expert and the lady who has knowledge about the Amazon AWS. These were strong witnesses that came to prove that nothing was wrong with the Amazon services. So guys, this witness came, you know, with that confidence, you know, that he was going to do a very good job. But at the end of the day, honestly, he complicated issues for Tinubu. Listen to what he said about himself, even before the cross-examination. When he was asked by SAN Olani Pekun, who is the counsel to Tinubu, he was asked to tell the court his name. He said, I am Senator Mike Opeyemi Bamidele. And also he asked him, what's your occupation and qualification? He said, I'm a lawmaker. And the presiding judge asked him, so you are a legislator? He said, yes. I have bachelor's in arts from the University of Ife, now Obafemi Awolowo, and a law degree from the University of Benin. I also went to law school, so I am a barrister. I also have LLM in New Hemis United States Law School, and I am also licensed at law at US, and I am an attorney at the New York Bar and a counselor at law where I practiced law since January 1999. I am also a fellow of Chartered Institution of Arbitrators in Nigeria. So guys, this was his CV, as in, look at all the places he said he read, he practices law and all that. But do you know that he ended up messing up, you know? He messed up everything for Tinubu, honestly. During the cross-examination, honestly, he didn't do a good job. Look at what Peter Obi's lead counsel asked him. So Peter Obi's lead counsel asked him, so for the forfeiture of the $460,000 in the account of the second respondent, the court stated the money represents proceeds of narcotics. Is it true? The witness said, well, what is contained in the district court was a civil forfeiture and not criminal because of section 981. Hmm. And Peter Obi's lead counsel said, I ask you a question. Was it for narcotic trafficking? The witness replied, yes. Can you see it? He replied, yes. And then he added and said, and the money was forfeited as civil. But you know, he has already said it was for narcotic trafficking. That was where he indicted Tinubu. Honestly, I'm not sure they are going to survive this. They won't. And that is why people are saying that honestly, Tinubu's chances have really reduced to almost zero. As in, he will hardly survive all this at the election tribunal. And let's just watch out to see what happens. Let me allow you to listen to this clip. President Bola Tinubu and his party, the All Progressives Congress, APC, on Wednesday closed their defense in Atiku Abubakar's petition, challenging the outcome of the 25 February presidential election. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had declared Tinubu the winner of the election, but the outcome is being contested by two of the leading opposition candidates, Atiku of the People's Democratic Party and Labour Party's Peter Obi who came second and third, respectively, in the presidential poll. <laughs> After a three-week run of the petitioner's case that ended on 23 June, Einik had earlier closed his defense against Atiku and the PDP on Monday, leaving Bola Tinubu and his party, the APC, to take their turn. <laughs> Tinubu's legal team, headed by Wali Olanipekun, began its bid to counter the petitioner's case on Tuesday. <laughs> Opening defense of Ahmed Bolatinubu's victory during proceedings in Atiku's case, Olani Pekun, a senior advocate of Nigeria, SEN, 
tendered several documents to debunk the claims of academic records forgery and criminal conviction being leveled against the president, Bayatiku Abubakar, and the People's Democratic Party. Chief Wale Olanipekun tendered certified true copies of Mr. Tinubu's academic records from Chicago State University in the U.S. and correspondences between the Nigeria Police Force and the U.S. Embassy in Nigeria. In reply to the police inquiry, the U.S. Consulate General in Lagos cleared Mr. Tinubu of any criminal conviction or arrest in the U.S. The letter was dated 4 February 2003. Again, at the resumed proceedings in Atika's case on Wednesday, Olani Pekun called the only witness in the case, Senator Michael Opayemi Bamidele. Senator Bamidele was called to the New York bar in January 1999. In his testimony before the five-man panel of the court, shared by Justice Haruna Samani, Opayemi Bamidele said Bola Tinubu's victory could not be nullified over his forfeiture of $460,000 to the U.S. government through a court order. Under cross-examination by APC's lawyer, Latif Agwemi, an SAN, Bamidele, who represents Ekiti Central Senatorial District at the National Assembly, said Tinubu was neither arraigned nor indicted for any crime by a U.S. court. According to the witness, as far as a criminal indictment is concerned, Senator Bola Tinubu has a clean bill of health because he was never indicted or convicted by any American court. The witness clarified that civil forfeiture cannot be considered a criminal trial or conviction. Testifying on the issue of the president's alleged dual nationality, Bamidele said he had known Ahmed Bola Tinubu for over three decades, saying he is an Algerian citizen by birth. While being cross-examined by Atiku's lawyer, Eitayo Jagade, Bamidele said Tinubu did not need to score 25% of votes cast in the federal capital territory to be declared winner of the 25 February presidential election. The witness said the FCT has no special status other than Nigeria's capital city, but admitted that Bola Tinubu scored 19.4% in total votes cast in the FCT during the February election. When it was APC's time to open its defense, Latif Agwemi, also a senior advocate of Nigeria, SEN, said his client chose to adopt Tinubu's evidence in the case as their defense. Fabwemi said, having taken a sober reflection of the entire case, we have enough evidence and are not calling any witnesses. We do not intend to whip dead horses. We announce the closure of the case of the third respondent, APC, referring to Atiku's petition as dead. The court ordered Tinubu and the APC to file their written addresses within 10 days, while Atiku has seven days to reply. Justice Haruna Samani, who heads the five-member panel, further declared that a date for the hearing of closing arguments would be communicated to the parties. So guys, you've seen it for yourself. Honestly, this man destroyed Tinubu's chances. He does not have any chance again. For me, I don't think this election tribunal judgment is going to go in his own favor because it is obvious for him to have forfeited this, you know, it was criminal. As in something went wrong, something went wrong. Although they said it was civil, but the forfeiture means that something went wrong. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.